Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to The Sip, your daily dose of just the right amount of tea. If you are new here, my name is Eric. It is wonderful to see you, meet you, and greet you. And if you are returning, <laughs> what is up, herd? All right, y'all, so check it out. This is a daily collective energy reading. That in mind, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as this may not necessarily resonate for everyone. Yes. Also keep in mind, guys, that this is a timeless reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please go ahead and share this with anybody that you feel um, it would be appropriate to share it with. Uh, the more that we get this out there, the more messages we can get to people and the more clarity and guidance we can get to people. Yes, that is the goal of this series of all the readings here on my channel is to just bring clarity and understanding and guidance to those who seek it the most. So if you know of anyone that really could benefit from this message, please go ahead and share it with them. Yeah, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links to that can be found in the description box below. And check us out on Patreon for some extra content throughout the month and to help support the channel. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. All right, guys, let's get into this. What is the sip for the collective today? Last shuffle. All right. What's the sip for the collective today, please, Spirit? What's the sip? First card out is the Ten of Wands. All right. Overburden, strength. Hmm. Ten of Wands. Four of Wands. Okay. All right. Um, I feel like someone is... And I was getting this with the Ten of Wands already. But um, then the Four of Wands came out. So, so what I'm getting with the Ten of Wands is that someone is starting to become... Ooh strikingly aware, brutally aware of just how burdened that they are. But the reason why you're becoming aware of this or this person is becoming aware of this because is because this person is getting really solid within themselves, within who they are, within what they want, okay? And the more that you do that, it's kind of like a bitter, a, 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 a double-edged sword or a bittersweet circumstance. The more you become solid, stable, grounded, the more union you reach within yourself or the greater level of reunion that you reach within yourself, the more and more you become aware of just how burdened and bogged down you are by certain elements within your life. Last card here is the Knight of Pentacles. Oh boy. This Knight of Pentacles came out yesterday and it came out with the moon. And we were talking about how this, actually this Knight of Pentacles has been coming out for the last three days. So this absolutely could be a continuation of whatever energies we've been picking up on here, which does not surprise me. Normally when I do these series like this, we talk about a central situation for uh, a number of readings and then we move on to another topic. So this situation seems to be evolving in the terms of The further you go in your life or the more that you go, the, the more you move forward with this Knight of Pentacles energy, the more stable, solid and grounded you become within yourself and the greater sense of union that you achieve within yourself, Four of Wands. And that helps you to understand just how burdened you are and what it is you need to let go of. Now, in terms of this Knight of Pentacles energy... Uh, if this is resonating with you on the level of the, and come on, come on, come on. Will you, will you, will you just like, why aren't you focusing? Hold on guys. Um, in terms of this energy here, why aren't you, what is up with my camera? At, oh, there we go. Okay. In terms of this Knight of Pentacles energy, if you guys remember from the previous readings, and maybe if you don't go back and watch them, but the one yesterday, right before this one in which, what was the title? Oh, this commitment was never going to be honored to begin with. We were talking about a masculine individual who was completely irresponsible in terms of the commitments that they made to people in which either they never had any sort of real intention of doing it, uh, of following through with that commitment. It was a bait and switch type of situation or they are just irresponsible and don't have the capacity to honor that commitment. If that, if this situation now is resonating with that and this is a continuation of that story, I feel like through dealing with that individual, 
and kind of like learning from your mistakes in 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 in, in um committing to them or giving them some sort of responsibility because that was part of the message yesterday as well. Um, in, in terms of that or in terms of just your involvement with them and learning through through watching them and experiencing your situation with them, your level of commitment, your level of follow through has gone through an upgrade. You are recognizing the value of being committed and remaining committed you're recognizing the value in terms of making only making commitments that you have full intentions of following through with that doesn't have anything to do with the fact that maybe the situation may just end up falling through altogether but at least you still are 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 in the position where you fully understand that if you're going to make a commitment to something you need to be fully conscious of it and you need to be willing to follow through with it. Your level of commitment, your level of follow through has gone through an upgrade by dealing with this certain situation or circumstance. And that is allowing you to become more and more solid within the union uh, within yourself. Four of Wands. Come on. Why aren't you? What is wrong with you today? Why aren't you focusing? Oh, my God. Will you just focus, please? There we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um so, and I want to say, you guys, this has uh, everything to do with you. This is a learning experience, okay? This has everything to do with you finding union within yourself, okay? I mean, you could definitely look at it that way. If you don't want to look at it any other way, your takeaway from this could be the fact that you are, you are able to find a greater sense of union within yourself. I want to pull some more cards, but let's look at, at the bottom of the deck right now. We have the Eight of Swords. At the bottom of the deck so far. See my phone, my my freaking camera, man. Why I've been? It's been doing. It's been doing fine all day, and now, now it doesn't want to focus, which is really upsetting. I don't want to. I'm not going to start this over. So whatever. I'm just going to have to manually focus like this. You do have the eight of swords here. Okay. Ah. Uh, All I really want to say about this Eight of Swords is that it's a previous circumstance. I don't really want to talk about it too much. All right, but it's some it's a way that it's something that you're breaking out of. You're freeing yourself from this and it's directly related to this 10 of wands energy, all right? Let's get some more. Just some more please spirit in terms of this message for the collective. Two more cards here. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. One last card, please spirit. For today's sip, for today's sip, one last card, please, with the Nine of Cups. That is beautiful. Overall energy here. Yep, you've got the Hierophant. Okay, I mean, I, I, not going to lie, you guys, that feels pretty appropriate, this Hierophant energy. All right? Um, so, okay. Okay. And why does this Hierophant energy feel appropriate? It feels appropriate because valuable lessons are being learned here. All right. I really feel like this is the energy of someone who is absolutely moving forward in their lives in a much happier way. Whatever, whatever burdens you are releasing from yourself at this time are fully in alignment with what is truly going to make you happy. OK, at the end of the day, when you go to bed at night or when you get back home at night or when you stop and do your meditations or when you just stop and think about it, at the end of the day, you are happy. You're happy, period. OK, so whatever burdens you're releasing from your life at this time, it's be, it's in a sense of making you happy. There is absolutely a brand new start for someone that's coming online. Um, this page of pentacles, this new opportunity, this new energy, this new reality that you're committing to, that you're working on building. What it feels like here is this is someone who um, is going through a massive, major personal renaissance. OK, instead of finding happiness and contentment and fulfillment through fulfilling other people, you are now finding happiness, contentment, and fulfillment in fulfilling yourself. Nine of Cups. Following through with what it is your heart is guiding you towards or what it is your heart is saying that you want. Knight of Cups. And that is where the Hierophant comes into play. Because whatever it is you were experiencing here, 
Yes, I do feel like this is a masculine feminine dynamic for some of you. Some of you are calling this a twin flame energy. Okay, that's fine. This is not a specific twin flame reading. This is not a specific masculine feminine reading. But those of you who know me know how much I work with the balancing and harmonizing and union of masculine and feminine energies within. So if you landed here, if you've been guided to this reading, that's kind of what you're going through. You're going through a balancing and a harmonizing, a union of the masculine and feminine within. But the Hierophant comes into play here in terms of teaching you a very hard lesson. Okay, this is something that you could not escape. This is a this is a lesson, this is a circumstance, this is a training course, a training program that you could not escape. You had to go through this, you had to learn this lesson, no matter how tough it was for you. But ultimately, that lesson has come down or boils down to the fact that you need to choose to be happy for yourself and you need to be the one to facilitate that happiness for yourself. Stop pouring all this energy into facilitating the happiness for others and instead commit to yourself, period, point blank. And it seems you've learned that lesson. And it was, and, it, and, and, and as you sit in this nine of cups energy, you may be looking back at that circumstance and been like, you know what? That's a real ass backwards way to get me to learn to honor myself and love myself. But you know what? I did it. I'm here. I mean, it served its purpose. So boop, <laughs> okay. Let's get into some clarification. I want to talk about this Ten of Wands here. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Well, just get some clarification here, please, Spirit. Five shuffles. Clarification for today's sip for the collective, please. This is two. For those of you that are interested, this is the Tarot Mucha deck, of which I have the box right here. Hold on. I'll show you. The Tarot Mucha. This right here. Yes. And to clarify, we are using the universal tarot. Yeah. All right. Clarification, please, spirit. This is three. Four. And five. Okay, clarify the Ten of Wands, please, Spirit, for the collective. Clarify the Ten of Wands, please. The sun. Excellent. Oh my God, I love that. The sun is your first card in terms of clarifying the Ten of Wands. You've become starkly aware, okay? The sun is a really beautiful energy, all right? The sun is the most optimistic card in the deck. No matter what negativity, no matter what tomfoolery, bullshit, you know, fuckery may come out in the reading or whatever may be involved in the energy. When the sun comes out, it trumps all of that. Okay. It lessens the blow. Now, with that said though, the sun has its own blow to deliver because the sun is an, is a luminary, right? So the sun is illuminating things. And what I'm getting for the collective here with the sun clarifying the 10 of wands you became starkly aware of just how many burdens you have been carrying. And for the most part, just how much you've been neglecting yourself, leaving yourself on the back burner or in the fridge altogether, not even on the stove, not even in the oven, not even working on yourself at all. You've come to a very stark awareness of that. And that burned it sure as shit did burn. But you know what? I always say when the sun comes out and it burns you in terms of this type of situation, when the sun burns you, it's one of the best burns you could ever gain in your life because now you have the clarity on what needs to be healed. And now you can bring more beneficial light, happiness, fun to your life. You have become starkly aware of just how burdened you have been and how you can clean all of that up. Some of you were in situations where it was like you don't you couldn't even you couldn't see the forest for the trees like you couldn't see exactly what was going on within you or around you. But you knew something was fucked up and you were just panicking, panicking, panicking because you couldn't see what was going on, even though you knew what needed to be changed. You needed you, even though you knew something has to change here, but I don't even know where to begin. Well, now, you know. The universe catalyzed that for you. Clarify the Ten of Wands for the collective, please, spirit. 
Six of Cups in reverse. Firefighter Ten of Wands. There is some sort of soulmate bond that was used against you, that was held over your head, or that you were holding over your own head. I want... Oh, boy. Overall energy is the moon, you guys. Hello? There we go. Overall energy is the moon. Like, are you kidding me? Can't make this stuff up. Out of the darkness, into the light. For those of you that are, well, okay, I don't even want to say it that way because you don't have to be, have to have been involved in a twin flame situation or like a divine partnership type of situation for this to be relevant to you. However, this is, those types of situations are greatly more susceptible to this type of manipulation. But there is some sort of soulmate bond that was being used against you. Whether you were using, against, using it against yourself in terms of keeping yourself connected to this situation just because they are considered your twin flame or your divine partner or your soulmate or whatnot, whatever. That was being used against you. Six of cups in reverse. And so you persevered. Nine of wands. But I also, I want to point this out. You see the way the six of cups has come out in reverse? That six now looks like a nine, doesn't it? And nines are endings to situations. So there was some sort of catalyst here with the sun, some sort of moment of realization that got you to understand just where the burdens lie. And they lie within this soulmate twin flame connection, this connection, whatever you want to call it. A marriage, even, possibly. Okay. I want to clarify the sun a little bit more. Clarify the sun, please. A little bit more on the sun. Is there anything else you want to say about the sun? What was this catalyst? What was this moment? What was this realization? Queen of Pentacles reversed. Yes. I, I don't even want to pull anymore. I want to stop right there. Page of Swords. You got it. And what did you get? You understood? What did you learn? That you were being devalued, disvalued, that your value was not being honored. You were devaluing yourself by requiring yourself to stay involved here. You were not being honored. Your value was not being honored. That was the moment that you woke up. That was the moment that you realized that's what's burdening me. I'm doing all of this shit for this situation only to have myself not even, not, I mean, I'm here, so for some of you I'm hearing only to have myself on the back burner. For others of you, what I really want to say, and maybe for the vast, maybe for the whole collective, what I want to say is, bitch, you weren't even on the burner. You were not on the goddamn stove. Your shit was either still in the freezer, still in the fridge, or hadn't even been assembled to cook yet. You were not even a priority. You were not even a thought in this person's mind. It was all about them. Or you were pushing yourself so far to the back that you were placing too much value on this connection and the label that you had placed on this connection instead of valuing, valuing yourself in the process as well. There, and, and actually, for some of you, what I'm picking up on now is there was no way for you to value yourself while still being involved in this connection in the same old way. And in many cases, you had to leave this connection together all uh, behind, all together, in order for you to find some sense of being able to actually value yourself. That's what you learned here. That was the aha moment. That was the wake up call. That was what the sun illuminated for you. And yeah, baby, that burned, didn't it? Sure did. But again, like I always say, when the sun burns you in this way, it's one of the best sunburns you could ever have. So revel in it. Because now you're aware of what needs to change and now you can fix it. Next, I'm being called to clarify the page of pentacles. Clarify the page of pentacles for the collective, please, Spirit. The hanged man. You gotta love that, you guys. Clarify the hanged, uh, no, the page of pentacles. Anything else for the page of pentacles? 
You are ready to start this new journey. You are ready to start this new endeavor. You are ready to make this new commitment in your life. You are ready to start to build this new reality in your life because you have gained the change in perspective that you needed all along. And I will say this, I'm going to play devil's advocate for the universe for a second. And I will say that actually, maybe that's what this situation, I'm sorry, guys, I'm, I'm, all, oh, I'm all discombobulated. Maybe that's exactly what the universe was trying to facilitate for you. So yeah, this was a burdensome situation, but you know what? Ultimately, it produced within you a greater sense of union, 10 of wands to the four of wands. It provided you with the change in perspective that you needed to get started on a brand new foot. To get manifesting something brand new in your life. Overall energy there. Fuck yeah, the magician. I mean, you cannot make this shit up, you guys. Okay. A new lease on life. That's what I want to call that. Okay, so next I want to clarify this Knight of Pentacles energy. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for the collective please spirit. Uh oh. Ooh. The Empress in reverse. The Two of Swords. Oh, that is some denial. And the Eight of Pentacles. Oh my God, you guys, you can't make this up. You were giving, 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 giving. I mean, I could go on. I could go on. You were just giving. And in complete, a complete state of denial. But what I'm hearing for this, you guys, was it was an active state of denial. Like it's not even, it's not even really like you were that naive. I mean, maybe you were a bit naive. I don't know. But this, what I'm hearing is this is an active state of denial. And maybe what this feels like here is, well, if I just keep giving, if I just keep working on this, if I ignore the physical circumstances or my physical responsibilities here or the physical responsibilities of others involved in the situation queen of pentacles maybe if i just ignore that and keep giving to this situation ultimately it'll work out i call bullshit on that the universe calls bullshit on that and that's exactly why you've gotten this change in perspective that's exactly why the sun came out and broke you out of that illusion three more cards here yo four more cards here the Four of Wands in reverse. Look at that. But you have this Four of Wands upright. Now, now you do. Four of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. There's that moon again in reverse. And the devil. I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna let that marinate. I'm just gonna leave that there for a moment. Four of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Total lack of union. Four of Wands. Although with the four of wands in reverse here, I will say that this feels like it was an active process in you getting to a greater sense of union. So in terms of the four of wands that's in reverse in this situation here, I feel like this was a level of building towards that sense of union. So, okay, that's great. Queen of wands in reverse, lack of proper alignment, the moon in reverse, hello, illusions, and the devil reversed. Toxicity, codependency, attachment. I am hearing desire and lust. Okay. Now, with all of that said, guys, all of these reversals are the past. Because with the moon here in reverse, I feel like, again, this illusion is now broken. And remember, I was feeling like in the beginning, that Knight of Pentacles energy was you experiencing someone who was not at all capable of following through with the commitment they had gotten themselves into, regardless as to whatever the reason was, okay? Whether they were conscious of it or they were just naive and irresponsible. But at the same time, guys, you were able to fine tune your level of commitment. You were able to understand this Knight of Pentacles energy from a much higher and mature place. So now, all of this work that you've done, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles is the only card that is upright here. Because you worked yourself out of all of this negative energy, this lack of union, this denial, this overextending yourself and lack of boundaries, this illusion, this lack of proper alignment, Queen of Wands in reverse, and the codependency, the attachment. 
the devil, the toxicity. All of that is reversed because all of that is the past. You worked your way through that and out of it. Congratulations. Finally, I want to clarify the Nine of Cups for the collective. Please clarify the Nine of Cups, please, for today's sip. The, we the Wheel of Fortune. The King of Cups. What I'm hearing is, for some of you, you... You guys... For some of you, what I'm hearing is you are manifesting a relationship with someone who is worthy of your presence, who will actively honor you and respect you and love you. You see the way that this King of Cups is leaning in? Oh, honey, he is leaning in towards you. Okay, you are manifesting this, the Wheel of Fortune with the King of Cups, okay? But look at this. You can't make this stuff up. At the bottom of the deck is none other than the Nine of Cups, the exact card we were clarifying. Look at that shit. Now, overall, the Nine of Cups is clarified by the, ten, by, by the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups. So what really overall, yes, for a vast majority of you, if this is really what you want, you are manifesting a partner who is truly going to honor you. Beautiful. But for everybody here underneath the surface, your karma is changing. Your cycles are changing. What you are bringing into your life is changing all because of your change in emotional maturity, respect, and stability. Because you know what it is you need to do to handle what it is you need to handle, the process you need to go undergo, what it is you need to be responsible for, how it is you need to carry yourself in order for yourself to be happy on a mundane 3D, everyday bullshit type of level. And you're doing it. You're following through with it. That's what's changing this karma because of your follow through in terms of knowing exactly what it needs you need to do, what it is you need to do, exactly what it is you need to let go of, exactly how you need to carry yourself, exactly how you need to conduct yourself, exactly the type of people you need to stay the fuck away from, right? It's all because of your follow through that this karmic energy, that this karmic wheel, that this karmic cycle is changing, shifting to your benefit. Cheers and kudos to you. I mean, it's coffee, but you know. <laughs> okay. Closing Oracle guidance is coming from Old Faithful here. Crystal Mandala Oracle. Alrighty. Closing Oracle guidance, please, Spirit. We're going to give this five shuffles. One. Two. Ooh. Whoa. Try that again. This is two. Three. Four. And five. All right, kids. Closing oracle, di blah, 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 blah. Closing oracle guidance for today's sip, please, Spirit. Thank you so very much for your guidance, for your love, your care, and your devotion, and your clarity. I mean, like, come on. Card number 47, Goddess Rhiannon and Amazonite. Integrity. Yo. Yo, drop that fucking mic. <laughs> Yo, all right. Integrity. We bring you the empowerment of sacred. Oops, wait, hold on, hold on. Nope, that's not right. That's not right. 
That's not right, Eric. There it is. There it is. Okay, sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, we bring you the empowerment of integrity. Integrity is the harmony between intention, word, and action. It is a discipline of love that creates inner security, confidence, and self-esteem. Integrity allows you to choose what promises you make according to the reasons that have meaning for you. It empowers you to make decisions that feel authentic and honor your values. It allows you to say no without guilt or shame because you are not willing to compromise who you are to make another comfortable. Yo, let me say that shit one more time. It allows you to say no without guilt or shame because you are not willing to compromise who you are to make another comfortable. As you honor your words and actions, doing what you say you will do when you say you will do it, you grow power and respect within. You can express your integrity absolutely and yet with kindness and compassion. Integrity is the gift that will bring you a powerful peace of mind and loving self-respect. Can you say queen of motherfucking pentacles? Because bitch, I can. <laughs> All right, y'all. There you have it. That is your daily sip. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I am sending you so much love. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer, including their descriptions and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links to those, both of those can be found in the description box below. Also, if you would like to get some extra content with me throughout the month that does not appear here on YouTube, please make sure to follow us or join the Unicorn Herd over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. That is a really great way to number one, get extra content with me. Number two, get some discounts, either a 10, 20% discount or a one reading per month with me, depending on which tier you subscribe to. And it's also a really great way to support the channel. Thank you to all of my current patrons of Patreon subscribers. Without you guys, I would not be able to be here. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I love you so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next sip tomorrow. Yeah? Excellent. Bye.